Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mech Warriors, this is TTV speaking. Welcome back to Mech Warrior Online and today we are in Polar Highlands and we are rolling and running with the Highlander to see. Well, that is actually quite uh, quite fitting, right? That we are walking through the Highlands, the Icy Highlands in the Highlander clan variant. And I'm running it with a dual Ultra Ace 10s as well as two large parcels and one ER medium laser loadout that I will use to great effect, hopefully, to poke the enemy and uh, then um, yeah, retreat, wait for my weapon, cool down to finish again, and then poke again. Yeah, double tap UAC 10s plus large pass in ear medium. That should do quite some damage. However, right now we're getting learned by that stalker over there and uh, I am getting used to the weaponry of this mech. And the first thing I notice is, yep, it is a true Highlander actually. The weapon mounts in the arms are very, very far down, so make sure you clear a lot of foliage and clear a lot of um, space between you and your arm on the ground so that you can actually shoot targets. And if you aim at targets, try and aim a little bit higher than normal, just to make sure that you can hit them properly. Okay. Enemy force is bunched up in Hotel 9 and Hotel 8, and I can't really move in right now. I've got a King Crab with me on the right side, there's two assaults on the left. So right now this is just a classic face-off, and that is a Crab shooting me. Unfortunately, didn't hit with the UAC-10, just grazed him a little bit with the lasers. Alright, and Lerm's coming of course, which I'm trying to alleviate a little bit by jump jetting and whatever, but uh, it's not doing much. Good thing you are able to break the lock there. Uh, going down the mountainside. Okay, what do we see over here? We have a Cyclops moving towards the right side. Maybe we can shoot him a little bit if he actually shows himself. Uh, he does show himself a little bit and <laughs> shoot us with a face laser or something. Didn't get the return fire here. Got a little bit of UAC-10 fire on the enemy crab. I'm just gonna stay back here. There's no point in going in right now. If you go over that crest at this moment, you will get destroyed by the enemy team because they're just all standing there waiting for you to show your face and then they will just melt your face. And not in a good way with heavy metal music, nope, they're gonna melt you with oil cannons and ballistics and ghost rifles and lasers and PPCs and all the good stuff that hurts so much. Okay, so we'll just stay back and we'll try and choose our engagements more wisely. What do we have over there? That's the crab again. That is the Cyclops from before. We can go ahead and lay into him and there you could see it. The low weapon mounts and Ultra Ace 10s actually managed to really work up my final shots. But that's fine, we lay into the enemy hide of C over there. And I see a lot of enemy targets over on the Hotel 7 side. I notice a pilot that I have been playing with and against quite a few times. I said, I can't take him, he's really, really good. So, focusing on him, just shooting him right on the CT to make sure that he goes ahead and falls back to cover because I don't want him running around on my left flank destroying my teammates because that's what he would do. He's got cover from a one annihilator that would just sort of basically be enough distraction for him to do what he likes to do. Oh, he's actually got two annihilators. Okay, never mind then. Um, Suddenly, I don't want to be here. And a... what is that? A Jäger mech as well. Okay. And our crab just goes YOLO! Um, yo, buddy. That, seriously, nobody can help you if you do something like that. Um, radar awareness is a must. It's one of the problems that I have had in the past with my own gameplay where I didn't look at the radar and I was like, Hey, why did nobody help me? Well, because I charged in solo. Not a good thing to do. Okay. There's two annihilators pushing and the kind of fact on the Hotel 7 side. I need to move over towards the right side, towards India 9, join up with the rest of the team. Currently it is two kills to four, so we're two kills back, and uh, that doesn't look good. Let's see what we have over here. That's a warhammer coming in. I whiff a little bit with lasers, but that's fine. Just wanted to persuade him to walk to cover. Using the left arm to shield right now, and just walking forward, trying to find some cover. Looking at the whole enemy team. Ah, painful. The Cyclops is very, very damaged, however, so if I can see him and shoot him properly, I can greet him cordially. You act on fire. Okay, that was good. It's a little bit hot right now, and the Annihilator is coming for me. And there is a Wolf Hunter as well. And we have a Warhammer over there as well. Okay, okay. So, shield arm out, and let's start walking towards that Hotel 9 slope. Hopefully, with jumping and hiding, we'll get our ass out of here. And now let's go ahead and try and help out our buddy here. Make sure that he doesn't get killed by that tiny 
pesky mistlings. Okay. And now we've rejoined with our teammates and we have battle lines. India 9 to Hotel 9, that is the battle line right now. Let's lay into that annihilated Charlie. Um, he's got one Ultra AC10, one Ultra AC5, okay. So he's basically halved. That's good. We're running a little bit hot right now, so we need to make sure we choose our shots wisely. 6 to 6, this game is any man's game. The Cyclops is out of the city. And the Annihilator, of course, on the side torso, one touch, and that is it. Let's see. Hello, Cyclops. Hello, Annihilators. Okay. Let's go in on the Cyclops. I, I kind of want to get this kill here, and I'll need to have our Timberwolf buddy here because he's alone. He's going in against two guys. There is the Cataphract again. So let's go ahead and convince him that it's not very good to chase after my teammate right now. But first, since I can't shoot him, I need to shoot the Cyclops. Okay, he's got one ammo on him. He is out of the fight right now, so I can go ahead and focus on the Cataphract. CT open from before. Let's try and seal that deal. Twist for me. There we go. And then let's take out the Cyclops. One shot should do it. Okay. Fine. So, Annihilators up front, Charlie is a stick. Normally I go for a kill on this, but since it's so close, I don't go for the kill. Instead I go for the Annihilator, go for the side torso. We take out the right side torso. Now we go, we go on the left side torso to disarm and disembowel because that was a light engine. And now we can go ahead and fight the last two targets, the Wolfhound. Low on the legs and no more legs. And then just go in and snack up Charlie to polish this thing off, shall we? Oh, so last truck is spoken. Yeah, man, how you do? TTB carried. A little Lovely. bit, gentlemen. Five killings, those five assists, three solo kills, four KMDs, 12 components taken out, and 986 damage done. Good game, well played. That was an intense match, and I'm really glad the way it turned out. And of course, credits to the summoner who also did a shit load of damage. Okay, let's switch to the next game right here on Viridianborg. We're going into the Green Hell with the Highlander. And let's try and see what we can do over here. This was one of my first games in this mech, so let's see what we can affect over here. I'm going down low towards Echo 6. The enemy should be around Delta 6, Delta 5 right now. And uh, we should be able to bring our auto cannon and our and lasers to bear pretty I'm nicely ready. and do some good damage from here. Okay, right, teammates right. are pushing on top, hopefully. Well, slowly but surely. Um, we should be able to hit them on the side. Pretty much in about 5 to 10 seconds. Let's see. They might be going for a D5 hide. Hmm, team isn't really moving, unfortunately, but that's fine. Wow, we see Echo, that's that a hurts. supernova. And he's carrying Lurm 80. Okay. <laughs> I know they're built from somewhere, but that's fine though, we're gonna shoot on his teammate here. Whoa! Uh, I, I didn't even see what that was, it was some light pick or whatever, but ah, don't stand still guys. I mean, yes, this isn't a huge alpha strike, but double tap, that's 40 damage plus the lasers, that's about like 70 damage or so, that will kill a light mech. Oh. Okay, and now the lurming begins. Here we go. Let the lurms fly. Ah, the pain, the suffering, the non-existent ECM, the teammates that are shooting anything for crying out loud, do something! Ah, the pain. Okay, well, that just cost me 28% of my mech. Uh, luckily, we didn't hit the airstrike, so that's that. And what to do now? What to do now? Well, we have Juliet over there, Timberwolf. He is getting chewed up by a light mech. His CT is very open. So I think a light mech should have this. I think a light has that. And this guy's actually knocked. Okay. Does he have it? Yeah, he's got this. Yeah, probably gonna be too late, but you know what? Just in case. Just in case he needs the help. Hello. Okay, well, that missed, but he's dead. Yeah, he's more than dead. Okay, let's try and see what our next opponent shall be, because it's two kills to two. The supernova is still on top, and that would be a prime target to exact some vengeance. Fox Trot, he's down below at the mountain foot, I can't do anything against him right now. Let's just keep pushing towards Delta 5, shall we? Okay, it's a wolfhound, okay, mad dog up there, okay, alright. Yeah, I kinda wanna make sure that I get a little bit of high ground right now, because my weapons function best, same elevation, or shooting downwards, and uh, okay, that's a mad dog with lasers and ATMs, that hurts a lot. Ah, it hits like a truck. 
Let's go ahead and eat the crew shot and shoot the satellite dish because I don't like it. Hey, got a mad um, down here. We can probably well, pack his ass. I've got an open mech now. I'm really, really worried right now because if I lose my side torso, I'm gonna be very slow and I only have my two react tens left afterwards, so that mad dog is extremely dangerous. Is he actually looking away from me? Oh, I have no idea what he's doing, but let's go ahead and shoot that grinner. Oh, there we go, we should quit them a little bit. Let's hit him a little bit more. Take on the arm or something. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a mad dog again. We need to move. We need to move so fast. Let's go. Let's go. A death strike is about to die. Perfect. Six kills to six, though. Uh, it just feels like I've been running a lot this wow, round. Not, not killing that much, just running around. And I need to run right now because if I stay there, I will be dead. Okay. So now we can have a good, nice firing position over towards that Echo 5, Echo 6 side on top of the mountain. Huntsman is our first custom, probably, and there is a UAV above us. Can we shoot it down? I can't even see it right now behind the stupid mountain. Your 10s, nope, okay, team it's shot's done, perfect. Let's go for the Huntsman, he's just standing still somewhat. Ah, I missed my shots with the UX. Oh, and that is a night star. hoo hoo. <laughs> I don't want to face tank him. Um, oh, pain, that's the hunt. mad dog again, and those missiles are deadly. Ah. Okay, the good thing is we were able to eat all those missiles on my arm, so that's good. We are still alive, we still have all our weapons. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I'm telling my teammate right now that he should go ahead and try to shoot Mad Dog Echo 5. That Mad Dog in Echo 5. And I'm targeting the Mad Dog to try and see if he's getting damaged. He's getting damaged, that means he is going to be distracted, so I can go forward and try and start shooting him in the back, and that should basically seal the deal quite quickly. Thank you. Well played, gentlemen, well played. Thank you for the teamwork. Okay, that's just one more enemy to kill. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, yeah, of me. course, he's right behind me! <laughs> right behind me, how cheeky! Trying to go good for shot. the kill on good old TTB. Well, that's why you run seismic. <laughs> okay, well, that was a strange game. Luckily, it turned out well in the end, and we got a good teamwork kill. Two killing blows, six assists, two solo kills, three KMDDs, four components taken out, five, five, six damage dealt. And props, of course, to our direwolf and to our teammate, the friendly toaster. Okay, here's the build. Had a 2C, two Ultra AC 10s, two large pulse lasers, one ear medium laser, targeting computer Mark 1, jump jets times 3, Clad Exit Engine 325, and double heat sinks. And that is the build for today, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. Give it a try and let me know how it runs for you. This has been TTB, good fight, good night, and by the way... Kamikaze flies! In the tab my browser shortens the title to TTB equals cowardly ass. Little hush there, browser. You'll be receiving an invoice from the Canadian government soon to cover the cost of the chemotherapy I needed after watching this lerm spam. <laughs>